It's about time I talked about some new Mythic Legions on the channel, and these guys are super cool. I love them. I've talked about a few Mythic Legions figures in the past. I've talked about Pixis and the Templar and the uh, like, the Lance Knight. I think it was called Red Shield Soldier or something like that. They're super cool, like mythic, medieval sort of fantasy action figures, but they cover a different range of like historical things. Because here we have a gladiator which is super cool, and he's based off of, at least the helmet is based off of an actual, like, 2,000-year-old Pompeii gladiator, which is awesome. And we've got a not-so-realistic skeleton warrior, which is very nice. I told myself I wouldn't get any more skeletons, but this guy just spoke to me. He's got some certain armor elements that really speak to me. And speaking of armor, they come with a lot of different armor and a lot of different accessories, and we are going to arm them up as we go along. Uh, the Gladiator is super cool. He's probably my favorite of the two because he's my first time handling a Mythic Legions figure with a little bit more skin showing. Uh, I didn't have one with the skin showing before, and that's why I was kind of like, you know what, let's get a Gladiator. Gladiators are awesome. This one's actually based, especially the helmet design, it's based on an actual historic Gladiator. Let's go for it. And I'm really glad I did. He is super sweet. All right, so let's start talking about what they come with. So the Gladiator comes with a big old spear, which is really nice. Uh, I really do like the big spear. I think it's very gladiatorial. Kind of simple with the detail, but it's a nice spear he comes with. He also comes with optional boots, which are the same boots on the skeleton, but they are silver. Uh, because this line is really strongly emphasized with the customization. Each figure, you can pop off different elements. I just dropped that boot. We're not going to be seeing that again. <laughs> you can... You can put different pieces on them, you can swap pieces and everything, and they actually give you optional boots. I personally like my gladiators with the bare feet, so I'm not going to be using these. So let's go ahead and drop the other one while we're at it. He also does have a uh, kind of like a bit of a harness he can put around him, which he actually came packed with this on him, uh, which it's nice. He can put a weapon through the back of it. He also does come with a, uh, I guess, a cod piece crotch armor thing. It looks nice. It's soft plastic, so it gets out of the way. It's a really nice piece right there. And it's come with a shield, obviously. He's a gladiator. He, got, he has to have a shield. Very nice metallic paint, but again, it is kind of simplistic in the deco. He does have a handle you can pop on and off. Definitely be careful. I have heard that the peg on those can break from time to time. But still, cool shield. This is super cool. I love this shoulder pad. He just comes with one shoulder pad uh, because his left arm is all armored up. Uh, has a, a skull design on it. And you can see how it plugs onto the back. We'll get that on him for sure. And lastly, he has a sword, which is nice looking, but I feel like for a gladiator, it's not big and impressive enough. I was kind of hoping for something a little more big and meaty. I actually think the uh, the sword that comes with the skeleton is a little more gladiatorial. I really do love this sword. So let's arm the gladiator up. Because you can kind of see, he's, he's looking a little bare. Looking a little bare bones. Uh, you can see he also does have this additional piece that goes around his waist. Uh, but let's arm him up. So popping off that cool helmet, slide the, uh, the arm up. Get this over. There we go. That worked out good. And then we'll get the shoulder pad on. You can see he's got some holes in his back. That additional hole there is for uh, wing adapters because there's also characters with wings, which is really cool. So getting that shoulder pad on, it does allow you to also have a joint at that shoulder pad. Helmet back on. He's looking kind of naked without this piece. And the, the plastic quality on Mythic Legions are so nice. Unfortunately, though, this is a line where if you don't pre-order it, if you don't get it for, like, the standard retail prices, they're pretty pricey on the aftermarket. Oftentimes, these are kind of made to order. You have to be there when the pre-order process is going through. And I did pre-order these Mythic Legions, so that's why I, uh, I didn't spend an arm and a leg on them. These are probably some of the cheapest Mythic Legions I've gotten since. I think the Pixis I had to order after the fact on Big Bad Toy Store, and he was like 40-something bucks. But these guys aren't nearly as expensive. I think they're like 20 to 30, something like that. So there is the Gladiator all armed up. Before we talk about him more, let's go over what the skeleton comes with. So first of all, he's got this super cool visor that goes over the helmet. That's kind of what sold me on the skeleton. Very cool looking. It does have the same kind of peg system. So if you do have other peggable pieces, you can actually peg them on the side of the skeleton helmet. He has this neck collar piece, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, he does also have a crotch piece, which is nice looking. Again, very soft, gets out of the way. Already showed the sword. I think the sword is super cool. I love how it seems like it's lethal from both sides. So this side would be more of a slash, and then this is more of a, a, a stabby stab. <laughs> so that's cool. He also comes with a bow and arrow. Unfortunately, he just comes with the... Uh, the one bow and arrow. He doesn't really have uh, too much. I do believe he also has a quiver. I don't know where that went. I'm sorry, I believe I have misplaced it. <laughs> I'm also going to explain why I don't really use this, because you can't really get him in a good pose moving this. Because, uh, I mean, it is nice. It is a nice string. You can't actually shoot it off. But you can't get him in a nice pose actually holding this. You can't even put the bow into the quiver, or the arrow into the quiver. And you don't really have a nice place to store the bow. So I appreciate the inclusion, but it's not really something I use. And again, sorry, I have seemingly misplaced that quiver. Um, I, I, let me go try to find it. Found it. Accidentally left it on my desk. So yeah, you can see it's... Uh, you can't even put the arrows in. I mean, it looks nice. I mean, at least it looks nice. And you do have a little slot here, so you can actually... This one, you actually do get the standard uh, Mythic Legion strap. So with this, you actually can, once you have the strap on him, have it on his back, which is nice. But, man, I just feel like it's all look and no actual function. So it's kind of disappointing. Again, you do also get this nice little strap you can put around him. I usually use this to, to store the, the sword on his back, something like that. And he also has these really cool spiked shoulder pads, which, again, because Mythic Legions are like this, you could actually swap the shoulder pads and have them on the gladiator which i actually think this color really matches the gladiator shield and everything so you get two of those you actually have them for both sides on the skeleton and you get this really cool looking spear weapon i love the paint look at all the scratches and things i do wish the wrappings were a different color but i mean these are legion builders they're not too emphasized on being mega detailed they're more so for like yeah i'll buy the skeleton and i'll also buy 20 more of it me personally i'm fine with just the one so let's arm him up so let's pop off the head and the neck so we can get this collar piece on because you get the collar piece on and then the neck piece kind of locks it into place so it's not just going to fall off on you and then we'll get the cod piece on just get that kind of plugs in in a satisfying way because it's like this really big rectangular slot you just got to get it lined up right there we go nice little plug right there and then we'll get the shoulder pads on really nice pop oh, actually before I do that I want to get this on let's get the strap over him and then we'll get the shoulder pad on and last but not least We've got this really cool visor. <laughs> I love the look of this visor. So definitely be a little careful handling it because I can tell it's a bit more rigid of a plastic than some other pieces. But get that tabbed in and look at that, dude. That's sweet. So I'm not gonna put the, uh, the bow or arrow or anything on him. I just don't like him with those, but I love him with this big spear weapon. So now that we've gone over all the accessories and everything, Let's talk about how awesome the figures are. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh. So the Gladiator, I use this term with a lot of uh, these Mythic Legions. They're hand candy. I mean, the posability is just so solid and so fluid. They're not super articulated because they only have single, you know, knees and elbows. I mean, you can see with the knee, you get just about 90 degrees. I mean, you do have a very nice ankle rocker and everything. It's like you can see, you can get them in a lot of nice poses, but it's not the most... <laughs> it's not going to be like a Marvel Legends Spider-Man or something, especially that new one. We'll talk about that. But yeah, this thing is just so fun to pose. I love the look of the muscle. I just think it's very action figure-y. I mean, the Four Horsemen are the people behind this, and the Four Horsemen have been in the toy industry for longer than I've been alive. So they definitely know how to sculpt a cool-looking action figure. I mean, just seeing this gladiator helmet mixed with this skull shoulder pad. I love having him posed beating on the, the shield with the sword. That is just so cool, dude. Oh, no, I didn't get that in all the way. <laughs> I thought I did, but I did not. There we go. Now it's in. So yeah, this thing is just so nice. It just feels so good. I love the look of the helmet. I mean, let's get in a little closer. Look at that helmet. That is just so cool. It doesn't have any eyes or anything behind it, but that's kind of the nature of Mythic Legions. They want to make sure they're as interchangeable as possible, so you can use this helmet with another figure. You can, you know, not have to worry about, oh, it's got, you know, a 
I guess, fair-skinned male head underneath. No, it's just a helmet. You can put it on whoever. Yeah, it's nice. I dig it. It's really cool. <laughs> Is it my favorite Mythic Legion? I don't think Pixis can be beat, uh, just because Pixis speaks to me on too spiritual of a level. But man, on a production quality standpoint, I think all my Mythic Legions are on a pretty equal playing field. So that's pretty much it with him. I mean, if you're a Mythic Legions fan, you know what to expect with the articulation and the sculpt work. I mean, look at all the chainmail and everything on that armored arm. He's got this cool looking gauntlet. He does have up and down at the wrist, which is very nice for the sword poses. That is very cool. <laughs> Almost forgot to mention that. Yeah, man, he is so nice. I really like him. They do share armor, obviously. I mean, this line is pretty heavy on the reuse. You can see the skeleton and the, the gladiator both have the same shin armor. They both have the same, like, skirting armor. They're very similar in some aspects, but I do appreciate that they have different pieces. And they do continue to make different pieces. Like, this helmet, I believe, is new for this gladiator. Love it. <laughs> it's great. Alrighty, skeleton time. So this guy, like I said, when it comes to sharing pieces, shares a lot of pieces with my Pixis I already have. Uh, he's got a lot of the same, you know, bony pieces. Very similar in articulation, which is still very good. Unfortunately, you don't have any thigh swivel just because of the nature of, you know, it's a big old bone right there. Isn't that called a femur? I'm pretty sure that's the femur. It's a funny word to say, femur. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You can move the shoulder pads out of the way. I just totally knocked over the gladiator, but that's okay. Yeah, shoulder pads you can move. I love the head. This is a new head, I'm pretty sure. You can actually move the, uh, the jaw up and down. And again, let's get closer. So you can just see how nice the detail is. The bones are a little more orangey on the skeleton, uh, and some people aren't the biggest fan of that, my brother included. He has all of the Mythic Legion skeletons, and he said this one's kind of disappointing to him just because he doesn't like the color of the bone. But I personally like the color of the bone. I think it's nice. Honestly, for me, if a skeleton action figure doesn't have a moving jaw, that's immediately points deducted. I mean, if it's like a super stylized skeleton, like something from Skeleton Warriors or, you know, something weird, yeah, I can forgive it. But if it's just a standard skull and you can't even move the jaw, man, that kind of stinks. Look at it with the visor down, though. That is so cool. Looks like, <laughs> looks like something out of Judge Dredd or... Uh, some weird, twisted, skeleton, medieval version of RoboCop. <laughs> it just, the visor is so cool looking. I love it. I don't know if I want it down or up. It's just so nice. And if you are wondering, you cannot flip it upside down to have this piece cover more of the face. It just doesn't work that way. So yeah, his articulation's again, very nice. Uh, he does use an older body, so he doesn't have the up and down for the wrist, just the in and out. Oop, popped his wrist off, speaking of that. I've never broken a Mythic Legion. Uh, I've never been afraid to break them. I just feel like the quality is just so solid. But, you know, always be careful. You know, maybe someday I'll be posing one of these guys around or one of them will take a shelf dive and uh, the skeleton will be missing an arm. Hopefully that'll never happen, especially to my Pixis. That would be dreadful. But yeah, dude, look at these. I love them. They're so cool. If you like yourself some kick-ass action figures and you like yourself some medieval stuff, Mythic Legions is the way to go. They make way more than just skeletons and gladiators and knights. There's elves, there's dwarves, there's orcs, all this other cool stuff that's cool, but not cool enough for me to want to buy. I'm not really into the whole fantasy, you know, Dungeons and Dragons scene. I'm more of a armored kind of, I, I like armor. I like, you know, cool stuff like that. I like skeletons and things. So my collection is naturally skeletons and armored guys. But if you like yourself some, some elves or some, you know, orcs or some dwarves or whatever, Mythic Legions has done so much. They've also done, started doing, they've also done, started doing <laughs> Cosmic Legions, which is uh, also very cool. Uh, there's aliens, there's space cop things. It's neat. They haven't done any yet that have sp spoken to me enough to order them, but the Cosmic Legion stuff is also really cool. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. I just really like these. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. There we go. Thank you so much for taking a look with me at a couple new Mythic Legions figures. If you want any Mythic Legions yourself, again, this is one of those toy lines where it's kind of made to order. You know, there are some made available after the fact but the prices are higher than if you order it from Store Horseman when the pre-order is live. So always be looking on Store Horseman. Always check and see if they've done anything new and exciting for you. 
they're very awesome figures. And thankfully the order windows are pretty big too. I think I had like a couple months to decide if I wanted these guys and I decided yes I do. I love them. Highly recommend them. I think I've said enough. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to the patrons of Patreon. Thank you all so much for the continued support. I really appreciate it. Alrighty guys, there we go. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.